Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this quad, then just keep watching. You guys have no idea how happy I was when Natasha Denona announced that she was going to release this palette. If you guys didn't already know, I have been so obsessed the last couple of months with the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette, which is this beautiful glowy blush palette for the spring and I said in that video if she came out with other colors of this type of palette I would buy all of them. When she came out with this one, I was so excited. I will say though, I was hoping for just like different shades of like blushes. You guys know I love a good bright cheek and obviously the tan bronze and glow is a lot more bronzy than I would have wanted. But anyways, regardless, it was another color of this so I had to had to get it. So right now this palette is available online at Beautylish and Sephora.com as well as the regular Natasha Denona website. It is $55 and online it is described as a midi bronze and glow palette with shades of alluring bronze, creamy tan, and incandescent champagne. So the packaging of this guy, it's the same as the bloom blush and glow except it is brown and tan <laughs> and it just says tan Natasha Denona on the side and then you open it up and you have a good size mirror and one of my favorite things is this little flap so that powders don't get into the cream products. I just think that this is genius packaging and then of course you have your four shades. So inside we have a glow cream base, a super glow, a blush and bronze powder, and a glow impact powder. Now the inside is a little difference between the two in that the top right color in the bloom palette is an extremely highly pigmented cream blush whereas the top right here is a super glow, which is kind of a cream to powder highlighting formula. The glow extreme powder that's in the bloom palette is actually replaced with a glow impact powder, which is a new formula from Natasha. And then of course you have a duo glow in here and this blush and bronze powder. So let's get into each of these products individually. So I'm going to start off with the blush and bronze powder. Now Natasha claimed online that this palette was good for all skin tones. Yes even light skin tones. And I really wasn't sure if that was true, which of course I had to buy and let you guys know. So the blush and bronze powder, it definitely has a rosier undertone, which I think is how Natasha got away with saying that this could be used as a blush. And honestly, on my light skin tone, I find it just to be a weird color. This powder is extremely pigmented, so be careful. When I put it on, I was taken aback and I was like, oh, I look dirty as ever. Of course, it did blend out beautifully, but just a little warning before you put it on, use a light hand, tap it off because this is quite pigmented. My feelings are kind of mixed on it. I think as a bronzer, it just looks a tad too rosy um, and that could be a good or bad thing. In a way, I kind of looked at it as if it almost looked more natural because when you get a little bit of color, you get a little bit red. So in that way, it almost made my bronze look more natural, but at the same time, I looked kind of rosy and not that cute. It just looked like an odd color. And then I did go ahead and try it as a blush and honestly, I just looked kind of dirty. So you actually can get away with using this as a blush if you do have a light skin tone, but you have to be very light handed. By diffusing this color is how you're going to get it to work on light skin tones. So I think generally speaking, it's not the most flattering on my skin tone. I think it just, it looks a little muddy. It just looks a little weird. It's It just doesn't quite flatter my skin tone as much as I would like for it to, but I don't really hate it. There is something that I like about it, but it is very different, and I just think Natasha was kind of stretching it by saying this is a blush because it's not really. I think on more medium skin tones, this is actually going to be a really nice color for you. I know Kinky Sweats, she just posted a review on this, and she has, I would say, a more darker medium complexion and she really liked this color so I would check her out if you do have a darker skin tone than myself but uh, I have been very curious on how this works for light skin and it's just not quite right like I said diffuse on the cheeks it doesn't look terrible it just you gotta make it work for you. I then used a sponge and I went into the glow cream base. So this is a hydrating luminous cream highlighter to give the skin the ultimate 
lip from within radiant glow i was very worried about this because it does swatch a little bit dark i used it with a sponge to kind of pat it into my skin and i actually really really do like the glow cream base here it definitely just melts into my skin it doesn't add a dark cast or anything the only way it was noticeable is if i turned my head and it gave a really natural glow to the skin it really it is so beautiful. It's like sweaty, but without being sweaty. I really love this. Uh, I like it more than the one in the Bloom palette because the Bloom palette was a bit too pink and deep. This one is just right, and once I get a bit of a tan, it'll work. If you are any lighter than me, this is going to be too dark on you, but I do like that. And then from the top, we have the Super Glow Powder, which is a super soft highlighting powder that gives skin an intense ethereal glass-like glow. Um, this color kind of, I was confused on what to do with it. It's not made for my skin tone i'm going to be 100 percent honest it is kind of more of a cream to powder formula and so what i ended up doing was i just used my finger and i blended that right into the tops of my cheekbones and it did create a golden glow it did create a bit of a dark cast on my face nothing too bad i could definitely go out in public wearing that if i wanted a golden highlighter but i just feel like i have golden highlighters that flatter my skin tone better once you hit that more medium and up skin tone range this is going to look so beautiful on your skin like i said i could kind of make it work on my skin tone but it wasn't my favorite i know i have other things that i like more but it is a beautiful formula it blended right into my skin it didn't look like it was sitting on top of my skin so formulation on that is great it's just it's not the best for me so the glow impact powder this is a multi-dimensional metallic highlighting powder with a soft focus hd finish and a velvety smooth texture and this is like kind of that, I guess, baked gelée formula. One of those formulas that are qu quite popular now in highlighters where it doesn't give off any fallout, which I really like personally. I feel like the product lasts longer and it blends into the skin a little bit better. It's a different formula than the highlighter in the Bloom palette. The Bloom palette is a little bit more glowy, if you ask me. Um, it's a lot more loose. This obviously is not loose at all, but this is a gorgeous highlighter, even on my skin tone. I think it doesn't have as much of a pop factor for me, just because this really isn't made for my skin tone, but I do actually really like that. On top of that glow cream base, yes, I still have a Wabam Pow glow to my face. I mean, overall, just taking a step back and looking at myself i mean i really do like the way the bronziness of my face looks i think that all of the formulas in this palette are absolutely beautiful i like my bloom palette way more just because i love a good bright blush i think that one just works with my skin tone better anyways and i've never really been a big bronzy person so if you are a bronzy person you are going to love this because the quality in here is like 10 out of 10 super good i'm not gonna say anything bad about the formula if i could change it up a little bit um i honestly i would keep this bronzer the way it is i think it's really different i don't have a bronzer like this in my collection the super glow though i just i wish she would have just done like a more neutral blush or she would have kept that same idea of having that really high pigment cream blush and have done something really fun maybe like an orange or something that would look really good with bronzy colors i feel like that would have been more fun but other than that i have no other recommendations that i think could make this palette better because i really think it's really good and i think i've mentioned this a million times in this video already but if you have my skin tone or are a lighter you're gonna have to put in work in this palette to get it to work for you uh i love my overall complexion i just it's not perfect you know it wasn't made for me so medium skin tones i think you're going to really like this deep skin tones i'm curious let me know if you have a deep skin tone and how this worked for you i think a lot of the products here are going to work for you but i can't speak from personal experience but i do think this is a great palette for medium to dark skin tones especially if you love a good bronze palette this is really awesome anyways i am happy with this palette um, I don't think it's the most perfect palette in the world and I definitely want her to expand on like the actual blush colors. I want a peach one, I want a purple one, I want a brighter pink one, I want a neutral blush one. I want more like these. 
But you know what? I don't think this was a bad idea. I do still think this is a really good extension to this um, because it's so different and it caters to different people and different needs. So again, great job, Natasha. Another great release. Let me know if you picked this up and how this worked for you. I can definitely see this being a product with a lot of different opinions. I like it. I don't love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you found it helpful. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, why not just go ahead and do it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.